Hello, Gemini's. This is your reading for your ex reading for the 14th through the 20th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. Let's see what's going on with my Gemini's currently. What's going on with Gemini? Gemini. Starting over. I feel like you guys are working. I feel like there's something that you have your eye on um, that you're expecting a financial gain from here. Um, I also feel like maybe somebody is offering something to you or there is an offer that you guys want to make or have made here. Okay, to someone, maybe an offer to date. Um, something that you're interested in is what I'm getting from you guys, okay? Definitely business, um, social life, and maybe all of those things. What's going on with Gemini's X? What's going on with Gemini's X currently? Gemini's X. Six of Cups. Mm, I feel like this person um, thinks about the relationship with you a lot. Um, I feel like they reminisce. I feel like, you know, they think about the good times, um, primarily the good times, but, you know, just a connection between you guys all together is what they think about. Now, there is possibly someone else, too, that is a soulmate of theirs that they are currently, like, communicating with. Maybe somebody has offered them, um, you know, a token of their affection, maybe to date, have given them flowers, or this is you guys exchanging this energy between the two of you. Okay, Scorpio energy there. Um, definitely somebody feels connected to them, and they feel connected to the other person as well. How does Gemini perceive their ex? How does Gemini perceive their ex? Wow. You're very attracted to this person. You feel very connected to them. Hmm. Very connected to them, I feel. Um... And I'm getting that you guys probably feel like this person is your soulmate. That you guys are meant to be together for a lot of you guys. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. But there you are, front and center with your car, Gemini's. I like it. Let's see. How does Gemini's ex perceive Gemini? How does Gemini's ex perceive Gemini page of cups hmm they may perceive you guys um, like you have met someone else like you're involved with someone else or maybe they feel like you guys are sharing um, you know the same feelings for each other you feel the same about each other and um, maybe they feel like you guys want to come back, even. Maybe they feel like you guys, you know, owe them an apology for something. Hmm. Strongly get, they feel like you guys owe them an apology for something here. And they're waiting on it. They're waiting to hear the truth here about something. Okay. Maybe another Gemini you guys are dealing with here um, as well. Or has here in their chart. Your ex. What are Gemini's feelings about getting back together? What are Gemini's feelings about getting back together? Cards not want to come together here. What are Gemini's feelings about getting back together? You don't know. You don't know. I think you think about it. Um, maybe there's been a lot of conflict between the two of you guys, and um, you know how you feel about them, but it's like you don't really know if it could work, is what I'm getting here. If you guys can really get along, hmm. you just don't know. How does Gemini's ex feel about getting back together? 
How does Gemini's ex feel about getting back together here? How does Gemini's ex feel about getting back together? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. I think if they could have the assurance that um, you know you're all in, that you're willing to devote the time and energy to this situation, I think they will be up for it. Um, but I think they need that security that you guys have the emotional um, maturity and you have the same feelings for them, you feel the same way about them, um, and you want it. I think they need to know that you want it. Okay, so I think they will be all in. I feel like this person probably wants to get married. Okay, they they want to get married. They don't want to just feel like you guys are dating. They they want to date with a purpose. This person. Okay, let's see how Gemini can help this reconciliation. How can Gemini help this reconciliation? How can Gemini help this reconciliation? Fight for it. Fight for it. Gain your mental clarity. Figure out what it is that you want to do. And if what you want to do involves being with this person who you feel so very connected to, then there's a need for you to fight for it. Okay? Get clear. Do what you need to do to get your point across. Gain the mental clarity and take action. Okay? Take some action here. Hmm. Let's see how can Gemini's X increase the chances of reconciliation. How can Gemini's X increase the chances of reconciliation here? How can Gemini's X increase the chances? I'm getting strong areas here. Hmm. Two of Pentacles is here. I think this is not to give up on this connection. Because the Two of Pentacles is going away from the Ten of Pentacles. And this is having, like, being unsure about whether, you know, you can devote the time, the energy, whether you want to. Um, not being scared that it's not going to work out. I think it's for them to decide what they want as you need to decide what it is that you want and fight for it. And I feel like the same goes for them. To be sure. To be sure of what it is that they want. And then put the time and the energy and the effort into this situation here. Okay? Knowing that they can go on. I feel like this is a fight for it. To see clearly what it is that they want. And go for it. Another wise here. There's There needs to be some action um, taken in this situation between the two of you. What is the potential outcome for Gemini and their ex? What is the potential outcome for Gemini and their ex? Six of Swords. You guys putting all the hurt, all the anger to the side and, and talking about this so you guys can move on. So you can move on and sell off into the freaking sunset. Okay. Mm hmm I feel you guys getting past whatever tough energy it is that you have um, going on between each other. And kind of letting things go. Um, you know, deciding that this is a path that you want to take. And the only way you guys can move forward and be a couple is for you to kind of eat that ego a little bit, okay? And um, come out of the stalemate because right now you guys are like, you're not seeing clearly, not doing things that you, you know in your heart you want to do. So I do see you guys um, moving on, okay? I do see that. All right, guys, so we have Aquarius, Leo, um, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Alright, so I will be speaking with you guys soon.